This final is a classic. Goofy vs. Regular. Tati representing Brazil. Stephanie representing Australia. Both will be competing, representing their countries in the Summer Olympics in Tokyo this year. And bombs out the back. Still plenty of swell for our last two heats of the contest. Following the matchup with Tati and Steph, we'll be seeing Felipe Toledo taking on Jordy Smith on finals day. Uh, she's only come away with the one win, I believe, Joe. That's exactly right, Bugs. The one win was a few years back now at the US Open. But boy, she'd been consistent. As we look at Tati, off the bottom, clean open wall. There's the first wrap. Weston Webb holding that bottom turn. Great timing on a big section. Tatiana Weston Webb's timing has been impeccable. And uh, Tatiana, she's going to be very, very pleased with this first ride. Uh, well, it's the first scoring ride, Joe. This section here is just huge. Bang. Like, she really makes the most of this one. And when you slow it down, this was just a full-throated turn on, on a, you know, it wasn't one of those inside sections that just had a little bit. It was full on. It was, you know, like at least it was a good six-foot wave. Uh, here we go. Driving off the bottom, Tatiana Weston Webb already has the 8.5. Hitting it off that softer section, she'll just casually right out of that one so she's still going to be counting her best of the eight five that'll be a backup score for the moment in this matchup with stephanie gilmore but um it's it's going to be just a nice backup wave for tatiana to uh you know just solidify her position at the helm nice clean two-turn combo for tatiana born in brazil raised on the beautiful island of Kauai, and and enjoying her call from the channel here as we have an opportunity setting up for the seven-time world champ in her first final at Margaret River. Wrapping cut back, hard off the bottom, big blast there on the oncoming section. And Steph will step off. She was trying to get that second move, and as, as we see this first one, really good wrapping cut back, holds it, and then again clean off the bottom, snaps it the lip, and then she, you know, she would have wished there was just one more section. 2015, Steph made two finals and was injured for almost the entire year, but she kicked off with back-to-back -back finals from Snapper to Bells. She's really turned in 14 finals since Tati qualified and seven CT wins. Frontside wrap complete from Gilmore, back into the lip line with a solid hack. Nice, clean two-turn combo on a mid-sized wave. So we'll check it out again. First turn, she got to really feature that clean forehand wrap again. Yeah, it's this turn here. This is the money turn. Wow, she spends, she just really displaces a lot of water and uh, perfectly timed. You know, this turn, this is a nice wrapping turn. But this, uh, this second one here, I, I really like this deep bottom turn. Oh man, that's just Steph Gilmore at her best. Rolling in is Stephanie Gilmore trying to chase some open face. Nothing happened in there. And so Gilmore accomplishing a lot here in 2021. With still 7.15 to go. Priority with Tatiana Weston Webb. She'll take this wave. Controlling a nice takeoff. Big wind up in the pocket. Clean off the top. Now stalling, hoping for an inside wall. She loves these finishing moves. Tati gets there early for a backhand float. Laying low to get the completion. Doing well to hang on to that one before hitting the rocks. The Brazilian storm lets her hear it with a big applause. She just found one slight softer part of the lip, but then it re this, is a, this is a good size wave, that first turn. Is, uh, is solid and she brings it back now. She stalls it here to try to take a bit of speed off and she's looking for a little bit of a softer part of the lip. She found it, but this part here, the converging foam balls, incredibly difficult to make it through that. And, uh, and that's what got her the applause. She, she had to ride out of that to get maximum points. 
and that it was just such a cleverly timed final maneuver with all that just exploding detonation all around her. She's disappeared. She's in there somewhere. Now she stays right on her haunches, doesn't grab the rail, but she's just battling back and forward with the whitewater, and she is really stoked to make that. That is going to be a telling score. And Tati looking for a major win. It's been since 2016. She's been in so many incredible finals. This one is out of reach for Gilmore. Tati making a move. Nice extended bottom turn, throws a beautiful first turn. Mid-face bottom turn, she'll fade. She's hoping for a big finish. Getting some speed and a nice hack on the end section, but she'll go down a minute 35 to go. Kind of got a little bit of flatness in front of it, though. But again, like right there, she could be there and coming around that section and hooking up into that. So it's still an opportunity here. Good size wave, Joe. It's coming down to this. Gilmore needs a 9-4. Top turn wrap to start. She needs something real big, a drawn out cutty to finish things off. Showing off that perfect style and approach. Critical open face, vertical maneuvers. And there's um, her opponent waiting for her. Um, and you know, there'll be congratulations all around. Steph knows, uh, I believe, that she wouldn't have got the 9-4. She, she, you know, she's been around for so many um, finals. And Tatiana, she's going to be crowned champion. What a special final and a special role for Tatiana Weston Webb. Numbers coming in for Stephanie Gilmore. It was her best of the heat in 8.17, but was left chasing an 8.07 as she runs out of time. So it's official. Tatiana Weston Webb, your champion of the Boost Mobile Margaret River Pro, presented by Corona. Another Brazilian in the water right now. Pedersen, Crisanto, and Chad San Andre waiting for her on the sand to celebrate this big win for Brazil. And uh, Joe, both these ladies going to the Olympic Games, and they may once again meet for a, a medal showdown somewhere along the line in 90-something days. Exactly, Bugs. What a feeling for Tatiana. Always a favorite. Finally, multiple times at this venue, she was runner-up to Lakey Peterson, runner-up to Joanne DeFay when it continued in Uluatu. So that is a hot streak when she comes to compete here at Margaret River, doing incredibly well. Eight five seven seven three back to back finals here through the Australian leg and sitting number two in the world, right behind Carissa Moore, heading into Rottnest Island. Yeah, it's a fantastic win, and what a great score. To, you know, Steph Gilmore just right at the end, an 8 one seven in the excellent range, but just the just the, the, the big score just beyond her was a, a, a asking a little bit much, Joe. It's all about the powerful backhand attack. She was always getting big scores ever since she put her feet on that sharp eye in the early rounds. Uh, well, what a great performance. Tatiana Wesson Webb opens with the 8-5, really laid down the gauntlet, and celebrations now begin. Hi, Mom. No. Oi, José. É nóis, aqui. É nóis, gente. Agora, Felipe, vamos. The chair going up the stairs, you're passing big names that are etched on that staircase of former champions. Tatiana's will be there very soon. Parabéns, Tati. Irado, irado. Merece muito. Big hugs from Jadson, from Pedersen. Difficult. Tatiana, final in Narbonne, you've got
gone one better here at Margaret River, you must be over the moon. I can't believe it. Um, gosh, Steph is just one of the best surfers in the world, and uh, I, I, I needed to make that last turn to, to, you know, secure the final, and she sure enough got one more good one. But um, I just really quickly wanted to give my condolences to the Macaulays. I, I couldn't keep it together after my heat with Bronte. Um, I love, they're such an amazing family and, and the West is all about their love and, and uh, yeah, I love you guys and, and I'm sorry for your loss. I'd like to commend both of you women on the semi-final performance. It was a brave showing from both of you, especially Bronte. You must be proud to go all the way on their behalf. Yeah, this win is for the Macaulays. I know it's really, really a hard hard few days for them and um, no one ever deserves that. Um, I also really quickly want to give a shout out to my mom because it's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Back home, I bet she's super happy. <laughs> With the turn that clinched the final, talk to us about riding through that whitewash, obviously surfing blind. How happy were you to appear? Honestly, I like, think I broke my big toe trying to ride out of it. Like The grip was really strong, but um, yeah, so happy I made that because I really needed that for the win and um, yeah, I'm just thankful to God for giving me everything. He always has a plan for everyone and I just want to kindly remind you guys that God has a plan for you and he loves you. Thanks Tatiana, congratulations. We're going to go to a break. After that we've got the men's final.